This project is inspired by birds. January 5th is National Bird Day, and it celebrates the roughly 10,000 bird species in the world, bringing awareness to protect birds and their environments. This is what the project looks like, and here's what we need. Before getting started, here are some examples of birdhouses that you might want to draw for the project. Of course, you can always draw your own. Starting with our full sheet of paper, orientate it so that it is in portrait orientation, so going up and down. Now draw in the birdhouse of your choice. I start with the rooftop with the two sides and a platform at the bottom. Then I am adding my two porches. Then now adding in a small chimney and then a little hole for the bird to come in. And then a door at the bottom to complete the house. Now give it a nice outline with a black marker and then erase all the pencil marks. Now give your birdhouse some color. You can use color pencils, markers, or any other medium that you have available. Next, taking the brown color, create a branch above the birdhouse. Create two rugged lines to create a thick branch. Then create some smaller branches branching off of that larger branch. Use that same brown color in the branch. Since I'm using crayons, I want really dark colors, so I need to press down using high pressure to create that dark brown color. Taking my black color, I'm going over some of the areas of the brown layer to give it more boldness and to give it some shadows. To connect the birdhouse and the branch, draw in the string. I'm using my pencil first and then give it a nice black outline with marker. To add the background, I'm using a light blue crayon, laying it down and rubbing in the color. Using the rubbing method creates a lighter color, which is what we want. To create the leaves, you need strips of green construction paper. Taking the green strip, you want to fold it in a zigzag fashion, going back and forth. So it's kind of like an accordion. Now holding it down, you want to cut that in half so that you have two green zigzag strips. Taking one of those strips, hold it down, cut a curved cut from one corner to the opposite corner. We're creating that curved cut to create the leaf shape. Here you have the one side. Now you wanna rotate the stack to cut the other curved cut on the other side. And when you let go of the stack, you should have many individual leaves. Instead of cutting individual leaves out one at a time, the zigzag technique really saves you time. With the other green zigzag strip, I'll do the same thing to create more leaves. Taking a green color, add the line in the middle of each leaf to create that leaf vein. To make it more fun and more 3D, we're going to curl in one end of each leaf. Holding the pencil like so, place each leaf between the pencil and your index finger. Press the leaf against the pencil and with your other hand, pull it from underneath the pencil. Create as many leaves as you want. I also had some lighter green construction paper, so I made some lighter green leaves. If you don't have any green construction paper, you can always use a different color for your leaves. Once you have all your leaves, glue them onto your branch. The last step is adding your bird onto the birdhouse. Here are some examples of birds. You can always use one of these or make your own. I'm drawing my bird with pencil on the bottom platform, giving it a nice outline with the black marker, then adding the color. And here's my final product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.